so the look I'm going to be doing today is just a way, a great way to incorporate colors into your everyday look that you would do, you know, natural eyes and such. So this is just using one color, but I'll show you at the end of the video some other colors you can use to incorporate colors into your everyday look. Um, I know some of you may be shy to wear colors all over your lid which is actually, I have a problem with that too. I don't really think that it looks that great on me, so I try to stay away from that, and I usually just wear neutral colors. But I think this pop of color look is a great way to bring colors into your um, everyday makeup look, and I think that it makes you feel more confident about wearing colors. So what it is is just this natural look with um, green underneath. I don't know if you can see that at all. I look kind of crazy. So uh, yeah, this is just a really nice look and I hope that you'll try it out and if you want to know how to do it, then keep watching. So for this pop of color look, to begin with, we're just going to do a very simple natural eye and any way you like to do your natural eye, that's fine. I'm using the 120 BH Cosmetics palette and I'm just going to use some random colors from there just to create a nice natural eye and as you can see the top is just very very normal then once you get to the bottom of that you see there's some green and that's the pop of color part of this look but to begin with I'm just gonna do the natural eye and I'm very quick at this I think um, maybe because it's on video I'll be a little slower but natural eyes are what I wear the majority of the time uh, if I even do wear makeup to school so um, yeah I'm pretty quick at it so just apply um, any colors you need to do your natural eye, your version of a natural eye. Um, it depends on the person, obviously, but um, natural eyes are basically all the same. They're just a very natural look that you can wear day to day. And this look that we're going to be doing, the pop of color, is a great way to incorporate colors into your everyday makeup look because a lot of people stray away from colors because you know, putting just one color of makeup on your lid is just not going to work. You need to have, you know, different shades and stuff. So it's easier just to do the pop of color because then you can work your way into the, you know, more advanced, you know, wearing colors all the way on your lid. So um, then I'm just applying a crease color, any color you want. I'm just using um, an Urban Decay eyeshadow in Smog. Blend that into your crease just to add some natural looking definition. And then apply a nice highlight. And I'm using Blanc Type by, from MAC. Okay, that's the top look. is very, very simple. And the bottom look is actually very simple too. It's just the, the making your eyes pop part of it. And I know the green doesn't really show up that well, but there's some green under there, and you don't want it to be overpowering. You just want a little bit of pop, pop of color. That's what that's what the look is called, obviously. So just apply that right under your natural lash line. Sorry, this is kind of impossible without a mirror. Okay, and then um, I'm just going to be taking a nice, um, you know, tiny little brush like this one and applying a green. I'm using Steamy by MAC, if you've heard of that one. And I'm just going to use Steamy and then a couple other colors to mix in with it um, from the 120 palette. And just smudge in the, I'm sorry. I'm getting out of the frame, kind of. But just smudge those colors into the eyeliner that you apply. That was just a Rimmel London um, one. But you can use any one that you prefer. Okay, and then um, apply a white in the inner corner just to make everything pop, not just the bottom. Just a white color. And then... I put the same green on the waterline to add more of the pop. You can do a black if you don't want that much of a pop of color, but I like that extra oomph, as they would call it, or they, whoever they is, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, um, then I'm going to take a mascara. I'm just using the Sephora Lash Plumper in 
ultra black and just get a nice one coat on there. You don't want it too intense, just enough. Okay, and that is the um, look. It's very simple. And as you can see under there, we've just got some green, and that's just so pretty, I think. So, I'll zoom out and um, show you. It goes very nice with just your everyday look that you do to school or whatever. Okay, so that's a look. Um, subscribe to our channel and keep up with our uh, videos. We'll have some upcoming videos. We need your requests, though, because we're running out of ideas slowly, so you got to help us. So, have a great day. Bye. So you don't have to use the teal color that I used. I used Steamy, and I think this is great for the pop of color look. But there's so many other options for the pop of color. Um, there's purples look great under the eyes. Pinks would, pinks sometimes make your eyes look a little tired or like you have pink eye or something. But you could probably make it work. Um, you can do oranges, and you can do just so many different colors on the color wheel. You know, straight up green, straight up blue. I use a teal color, which complements my brown eyes. Um, cranberries look great on people with blue eyes. Um, this is just a very versatile look. I use teal because that's what suits my eyes. But I just want to tell you guys that there's so many other options. For a good pop of color purple, I would recommend Flash by Urban Decay. It's just this beautiful purple color right here. You could also use Max Violet Pigment, which is a great purple color for many eye colors. Um, you can use pretty much any color in one of these palettes right here. This is just the BH Cosmetics 120 palette. This is the top portion. You could use any of the greens in this area. You could try the oranges out maybe. And if you're brave, you can do pinks and purples and blues. Just There's so many different options for this look. And I just want to tell you guys at the end of the video that this is the end, if, um, that there's so many different ways you can wear it. So, um, yeah, that's it. And if you like the video, then comment or like it or um, tell your friends about it or whatever. And I hope that you'll try this look out. It really does work on everyone. It is a great way to incorporate beautiful colors that you're kind of scared to wear all over your lid. It's a great way to incorporate those colors on your lids. I mean, on your eyes. So, thanks for watching and have a great night. Bye.